here we have the um, male reproductive model. So we'll start down here outside of the pelvis is the testis sitting in the scrotum. And then above the testis is the epididymis. When ejaculation occurs, the vas deferens is then going to take the sperm up and um, the vas deferens then gets into the pelvis, curves around the outside of the bladder down the back uh, to end up reaching the uh, urethra in the region of the prostate. So as the vas deferens is moving up, this structure here has the blood vessels, the gonadal vessels. So the whole thing is called the spermatic cord. Where it enters is an opening called the inguinal canal. And then as it goes down behind uh, the bladder, it picks up fluid from the seminal vesicle and the prostate. Uh, the urethra then continues down and uh, ends at the glans penis, which is this part down here. When we look inside, we see the urethra, uh, and then surrounding the re urethra is the um, corpus spongiosum, and then on the dorsum of the penis is the corpus cavernosum. And so those, that's what they call the spongy tissue that has the blood vessels that engorge to cause erection. Last thing um, to think about, blood vessels again, common iliac artery and vein coming down, splitting in the pelvis to the external iliacs and internal iliacs. And here's the ureter coming down to the bladder. Rectum sitting behind everything with the sacrum beyond that. Okay, that should do that. For the female reproductive model, uh, we have uh, the ovary here laterally. Surrounding it are the fimbria. They look like little fingers. They're the end part of the fallopian tube. Fallopian tube comes down to the fundus of the uterus. Then there's the body of the uterus. And we'll look at the cervix in a moment, which is the exit uh, to the vagina. Sitting underneath of the uterus is the bladder. In front of that is the um, pelvic uh, pubic symphysis. Behind everything is the rectum. So if we take this off, we see rectum in the back, fundus body, cervix of the uterus, tunnel beyond that is the vagina, bladder here with urethra. Then externally, uh, we would have here the labia minora, and here the labia majora, and then this little area right here is the clitoris. Again, pubic symphysis, again, blood vessels, common iliacs, external, internal iliacs, and then the there are a few ligaments additional for the female reproductive tract. There's the round ligament that attaches it to the pelvic wall, and then there is, we don't see it on here, uh, but we have the um, ovarian ligament that attaches the ovary. Oh, here we go, is the number 76, is the ovarian ligament that attaches the ovary to the fundus. All right, that